Hey guys, good morning. I'm having breakfast and I made a delicious oatmeal ball. I the energy for August using the Rider the Rider Weight Tarot. This is the radiant version. I really like it. So these are the backs for them. Like the backs look like this. This is a tin version. So you can take it with you anywhere you want. I really like it and this is like a little guidebook. It's not very it's not a lot, it's something as well. So that's why it kind of looks like. Cool. So the reading is this. So we have the King of Wands, the Magician, and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I thought that was pretty amazing, <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's a really good um, cards for August. But then I turned the deck around to find the energy, and we got the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> that's the Eight of Cups. So... What we are going to do now um, is basically kind of figure out how we can make August amazing. And from the looks of it, you are going to have a lot of pretty much feeling inspired is the most important thing. The King of Wands is all about the fire energy. That's why you have a little salamander thing there. He is ready to go. He is inspired by... Can you see him looking out to the distance? It's about looking out and not being able... Being not afraid to look back at your past. He's looking back at the past. He's saying that the past is giving me pretty much inspiration to move forward he is has a line there and this element which is a fire it gives us drive to move forward move forward to feel empowered you can tell him wearing red as well he's in his throne so basically we have we giving you empowerment to be strong and brave to move forward just like the lion and be inspired and the fire within us drive us forward the next card we have the magician the magician is alchemizing above and below he's combining all the tools he has for for creation he's surrounded by flowers you have the roses there in the vine roses and the lily the magician is basically saying let's go and create something we can create something internally or externally, but we can create what we feel like. We can create what feels good for us, what will help us. And he, can you see the infinity symbol there too? He's connected to his inner, to the infinite, to his inner self. And that's what we are inside. We are infinite. So basically, gather all the things that you have, 
which you already have with you, you don't need to get anything new, and create from above, so below. And it's saying, it's, insp it's empowering you to to know that you have you are capable for creating something. And he is focus. He is focus without stress. He is calm and peaceful yet focused. And he is creating with all the flowers around him in joy, in bloom. So create something. The last card is the Queen of Pentacles. She is also surrounded by flowers and a little bunny. The bunny is it's a sign of fertility and growth. She's in this beautiful landscape and she's admiring and holding this beautiful pentacle. She's saying that she is abundant with what she has. And whatever comes her way is a bonus. She has given and produced so many amazing things. And she's saying that she is capable for more. But realizing also that she has everything she needs. And she is abundant no matter what. Ooh. <laughs> she wanted to jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. And this is the Queen of Pentacles. She is living. <laughs> I wish I was in that meadow. Look at all the flowers. So yeah. She's like, you know, I'm chill. I'm like pretty chill right now. And you know what? Everything else is going to... Everything else is in abundance, so I have nothing to worry about. And I am capable of creating more if I want to. And I am. Because I am a queen! <laughs> the last card is... <coughs> the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is lit. This is the Eight of Cups. We are being handed something that is from the heavens. From, from the sky overflowing the connection with the, um, the Holy Spirit. And we are overflowing with love, with beautiful emotions, and basically the underlying message, the underlying message is kind of like how, like the energy for the month, like it's always coming up, and it's about, there's new feelings of whatever you feel like, and what kind of feelings do you want? You have lilies here opening up. I think they're lotuses. They're from the mud going up and opening up. We have this beautiful cup, this golden cup saying, here it is. You're going to be filled with feelings of joy and fulfillment. And it's lit and it's like nourishing and it's overflowing. And we have that this whole month. You have that. So always remember that you have the Ace of Cups behind you. Always giving you fresh energy of this feeling of fullness and joy and love and creativity. Another thing it does is about your intuition with the water. 
be in tune with that, with your feelings, and let that guide you to, to do this. And let's pick one more card, because I like the number five. And we're going to turn it around and see what, what else we, that's, that's hidden. What is hidden that maybe we need to, to think about? Surprises, maybe? Oh my goodness. It is the Ace of Pentacles. How great is that? So we have two aces today for this month and ace is all about abundance abundance and security and just feeling really grounded and from that you're able to create something materialistic something in the physical so basically, it's welcoming you to go through the door and create something in the physical. Something with your body, something with your home, something in your environment and space. Some, If you want to create maybe what I'm thinking is this is the energy that's like by doing all these things it will manifest something new and physical in your life and it's hidden because maybe we're not thinking about it so what we must focus on is how we feel, this energy that we are always abundant and loved, and our actions and the energies of inspiration, creation, and being Just joyful with what you have and flowing in abundance. So this is the energy for August. Sorry, August, that's right. I am pretty like, that's pretty amazing. So hopefully I'll do another energy reading for September. So hopefully you like this and enjoy this reading. And hopefully I'll make more of it later. I am currently drinking peppermint tea. capable of creating more if I want to and I am because I am a queen